You've seen him on Cake Boss, and today Buddy's right-hand man, Mauro Castano, joins us. Good morning, Mauro. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Very well. How are you? Uh, we're Hello. doing good. We're doing good. A lot of stuff going on, but, you know, we keep on going. Well, Mauro, Tegan and I just participated in an extreme cake competition. And we came in second place for taste, but we need <laughs> a little improvement on our decorating skills. But it tasted good. Yes. <laughs> Uh, what is the most important part of mastering these extreme cakes? A lot of patience, you know, a lot of patience. The way we learned is like, the way, especially Buddy, we learned off the, the, the big master, my father-in-law, how, uh, how to run the bakery part of it. And then the, but the bakery part has a lot to do with the decorating because we always say if the cake don't start off being baked right, it ain't going to look right neither. So decorating came a little bit after the baking part of it. But right now we try to get better as we go along. We're always trying to figure stuff out. How can I make this better? How can I make this look nicer? You know, that, that has a lot to do with thinking when you're going through using your creative juices, trying to make it look nice. Now, we used fondant for the first time, um, and it didn't turn out exactly how we We should have thought. practiced beforehand, <laughs> and we didn't. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have any tips um, when working with fondant? Well, we came down, we came down with after lots of trial and error, just like you guys just said, we came down with our way of doing it. The way we say here is there's a good way, there's a bad way of doing something, and there's a Carlos Bakery way. We, <laughs> that's what sets us apart. So. <laughs> are, are there certain kinds of cake that work best with fondant? Yeah, like dirty icing. I don't know if you guys watch the show Cake Boss, mm -hmm. dirty icing is something that we do. Like that's the thin layer of buttercream that actually acts as a glue between the sponge of the cake and the actual fondant. And also the way you work with the fondant, not overneeding it because that dries it. And using the right, uh, the right, uh, we use, we use, let's say, we use cornstarch. Some people use sugar mm -hmm. to not attach it to the bench when you're rolling it out. We find cornstarch is our best way. Also, we do have machines mm -hmm. uh, for every bench. Now, we have 14 benches for the decorators. There's 14 sheeters there. We have these fondant sheeters that are great that do the job for us so much. We, we have cakes. Like this weekend, I got like 60 wedding cakes. Wow. I'm cheaters, I'll be out of, forget about it. I'll be working here like 24 hours, 24 <laughs> 7 just to finish all that work. Exactly. And if you have a question, we, we made fondant ourselves from mm -hmm. scratch, and we found out that um, it wasn't easy to roll out. Is there a certain kind of fondant that's easier to work with? Some said marshmallow, some said, you know, use, mm -hmm. use, use corn syrup and Crisco. Um, is, is there a good or a better fondant to work with? To give you a little stat, us here at the bakery, we use about 6,000 pounds of fondant a month. Whoa. Whoa. Fondant. <laughs> so for us to, to make that, we would we would need like a factory just to make just to make that. In the beginning, we tried it. And we just couldn't keep up with demand, put it that way. So we, we came up, we tested a lot of products, and right now we're using satinized fondant. And uh, actually, we're, gonna, we're working on it to put it... Uh, to put it available on our website so that you can purchase it. We're working on that stuff right now. But satin ice sauce is the best font that you can buy. Well, we'll have to remember that. We'll have to buy some from you guys <laughs> next year when we do this. Exactly. <laughs> is there a favorite cake that you've done that stuck out in your mind? Uh, favorite cake? I have one favorite that I, we, I always like. See, when, I, when we do Cake Boss cake, that we know the A cake that we call it, the big cake for the show. Mm -hmm. it, to me, it's not only doing the cake. It's the whole experience. Like when you get the cake, talk to the customer make the cake and deliver it. To me, the best one was when we did the one for Sesame Street. I just mm -hmm. love what, like, what they do. You don't see, like, when you see it on TV, it's just something that you see, like a cartoon or whatever, or a show for kids. But what those people do is very, very important. And I, we, I was so happy that we were able to do that. And that cake came out awesome. We had all the characters sculpted. Mm -hmm. We also did the uh, Transformer cake. That was all. I don't know if you guys saw that, the Transformer cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that I'm, I'm actually mad at the TV people, at the show people, because they didn't, they didn't show nothing on that cake. That cake was like 14 feet up in the air. Wow. I mean, it spun and shot out things. It like talked. It had lights lighting up. I mean, it was awesome. Well, 14 feet is pretty tall. Uh, we had a 40-inch height requirement that we didn't quite meet. How no. do you make it? the cakes all stay together when it's that tall? Well, we use a lot of supports, and uh, that's where, like, uh, like all of our ideas come into it. We always talk about it. We have like a team meeting and we say, all right, how do we, like we just recently did like a, uh, I think it was 12 feet high Statue of Liberty. Whoa. For when the Statue of Liberty closed out, they're going to do some work on it. So we did like the last day that it was open. We did the uh, cake for that. And also they made people citizens and I was one of them. I just actually became an American citizen. <laughs> 
So we made it 12 foot high. How do we do this? We built a box. We built the reinforcement in the middle. We built the skeleton. You know, we, it's like it's a it's a process where we all give out ideas, and then Buddy on the show act ultimately makes the final decision how it should be done. Okay, you guys have made a lot of cakes, and one of my favorite ones that I've seen, being from the Midwest, is when you guys replicated St. Louis downtown mm -hmm. with the oh, yeah. arch. It was incredible. That took a long time to figure out that arch. Was that <laughs> arch? I don't know. If People maybe don't realize it has like a triangular shape as it's going up and around. Mm -hmm. It was hard trying to figure out a way to make that thing go like that. If all, like I said, we all talked about it. Everybody gave that idea. A little piece from here, a little piece from there, and at the end it all worked. Exactly. And people don't realize it's, it's a half-hour show, but that took a lot of planning to figure out how you were going to do that. Exactly. But that's the first question, actually. Like last night, went to deliver a cake last night. It was only a little four tier for a customer right here in Oboken on the show. I'm sorry, in Jersey City, right here on the show. First thing everybody asked me, oh my God, how long did that take cake you? <laughs> you know, I hated to tell them it only took us four or five hours to do it. It really didn't take us long. Well, oh, that's... you take damage, you take the transformer, oh, you take the, the, the cake that we did for St. Louis. Mm -hmm. That cake, it was a half hour show, but that cake literally took us like maybe like a week to do. Now you say, oh my God, you worked on the cake for a week. No, it's you got to sculpt all the pr uh, pieces, you got to talk about them. How to do you got to hand paint you got to figure out all the colors do this do that that takes about now carlos bakery is a fam family bakery um how is that family dynamic what's that like uh well my father started the bake started mm -hmm. the, bought the bakery from the original owner carlo uh and then he worked on it unfortunately he passed away in 94 and that's when my mother-in-law Decided with the with my brother-in-law Buddy and the four sisters Grace, uh, Madeline, uh, Mary, and Lisa to keep the business going, and also me and my brother-in-law Joey work here full time. So it's it's good. I mean, like you know, like just now, just before I came on with you guys, I was in the office talking with Buddy and little Frankie. We're talking about things. Last night I was at Buddy's house for Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. and maybe in a half hour, me and him will have a I don't want to say a fight, but we'll argue about something, and then he'll ask me. Well, What's for lunch? You know what I'm talking That's the way it goes. It's just, we got so used to it, that's just the way it is. I imagine that the bakery has changed a lot since Cake Boss took off. Um, mm -hmm. How has life changed there? Uh, well, the, uh, the, the old location, which is still we still have, is mm -hmm. on Washington Street in Hoboken, is only about 6,000 square feet. And we were working there 24-7. And the best way to describe that atmosphere is controlled chaos. But it was still chaos, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... When we came here to 40,000 square feet, now I have, like, we would fight over a desk. It was one desk, literally. And I would work on it. Angelo, everybody that worked in the office, uh, you know, like, the, the, we have uh, two Nickies here. We have uh, Buddy, me. We all worked on one desk. Now, everybody has their own desk, their own thing. And the factory is awesome. I mean, it's a state-of-the-art place. It's 40,000 square feet. We have, a, we have all new equipment. Uh, we were able to put classes <clears throat> in the back. So that, you know, to enhance the experience, people can come down and see what we do. You know, take fond lay classes, baking classes, cooking classes eventually. So it's all, you know, it's all working out good. We'll, we'll see if we have enough money in our budget <laughs> for them to ship us over there and maybe take some classes with you for next year's Cake of Palooza. Mara, then, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All right. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. We'll be right back.